Welcome to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him at God's Five Minutes at gmail.com. Now, here's Ed Wilson with God's Five Minutes. Hello, friends. The first six verses of the 50th Psalm contain a message of terrific impact to every believer. The mighty God, even the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God has shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him. It shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself. The Hebrew words here used for God are the strongest possible. He is El Elohim, the Holy Trinity, the everlasting God, the eternal judge. These verses contain a description of the great judgment day. This great God, using the eternal word that brought the world into existence and can never be broken, has called to every inhabitant of this planet, from Adam to the last man standing, from the rising of time to its end, in every culture, race, condition, and situation. His message is that out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, he has shined. This is a reference to the estrangement that sin brought between God and man and his absolute answer to it, Jesus Christ. Zion was the location of the temple in Jerusalem. His people were taught to keep his law and the method by which atonement was attained. Thus it stands as a type of the New Testament church in which the holy Shekinah lives forever. That church is composed of those washed in the blood of the Lamb in all the ages of the world. The language clearly indicates that within those confines, and there only, the brilliant light to which no man can approach is pleased to dwell. Heaven is not peopled with those from many belief systems, each going to the same place by different roads. The problem that brought Jesus into the world is sin. The only acceptable remedy is being forgiven and living free from volitional sin through the power of Jesus Christ. That is what the psalm calls a perfection of beauty. God's Spirit calls believers into one holy body, not governed by man nor having its tenets on the variable sands of human understanding. God's perfect church has Bible standards that never change. Next, we are told our God shall come. Jesus was crucified by sinful hands, thus showing that for a time evil is allowed to exist in this world. But the passionate belief of the Christian is that there is a reward for living for the Lord and a penalty for failing to do so. How terrible this scripture shows these things to be. Our God shall come. He shall not keep silence. Transgression and disobedience cannot be overlooked. Every one of them shall receive a just recompense of reward. God does not silently look away through favoritism. He cannot be bargained into being unholy. He does not forget and cannot be deceived. Even mercy has its end. That mercy described as from everlasting to everlasting cannot shield the guilty sinner who leaves this world unrepentant. When God had allowed the supreme sacrifice of his son to make that unnecessary, the next words surely describe the manner of his coming. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. Peter spoke the same. The heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Concurrently with these cataclysmic events, he shall summon his witnesses, some from among the angels and some human spirits. Among them are guardian angels and protectors who are alive in this world. But, there can, but they can appear as cruel witnesses by describing the efforts they made on our behalf, which only we could have and perhaps did frustrate. And people, have you a human weakness, an uncold, uncontrolled temper, rather, a tendency to hold grudges? Among the souls appearing on that great day shall be someone else who had the same weakness, but overcame by the blood. He intends for you and I to overcome by his blood. Have you talked to him today? You have been listening to God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson. Reach him by email at g-o-d-s-f-i-v-e minutes at gmail.com. Tune in next time to hear more encouraging thoughts from God's Word on God's Five Minutes with Pastor Ed Wilson.